Well, greetings, Grace family. I trust this uh, this vlog uh, finds you doing well and safe during this season. Uh, we continue to pray for you and uh, just trust God with with all the things that surround us right now. A uh, couple of updates and uh, things that we want to keep you informed with. Um, we've been paying attention, our staff has been paying attention to uh, just the increase in uh, the numbers with COVID and uh, here in Georgia and Fayette County. And in part, because of that, we've made the decision that we're going to stay outdoors um, well into the fall. We've uh, decided that there's no urgency to move indoors. Um, the moment we move or when we move indoors, um, it's more complicated, it's more challenge, it's more, more challenging, it's more difficult to uh, protect a safe environment. And just a variety of challenges uh, increase when we move inside. And so God has gifted us with this wonderful park area. Uh, we've been talking to those of you who are uh, joining us outdoors and the response has been wonderfully supportive and positive. And so because of that, we're gonna stay outside. As long as the weather permits, we realize that we've got some, some sticky weeks ahead of us here uh, coming into July, and, and hopefully it, it continues to stay cool. It's been uh, just wonderful, actually. Last Sunday was a beautiful morning for us. And so we're trusting God that he'll continue to provide the weather that allows us to stay outside. And, of course, we move into the fall. Um, we, uh, we believe that outside is a safer setting for us. And... So we're going to stay there. Uh, along with that, we've, uh, we'll be working to improve the quality of the experience. Each week we're getting a little bit better, I hope, uh, as we improve the uh, sound, uh, the camera work, and the angles, and all that's taking place. And you'll start seeing even more of those improvements now that we're going to make it home. Um, our desire is to create uh, what, what feels a little bit like a small outdoor amphitheater. Uh, since outdoors is going to be our home for a while, and and we're going to keep it simple, um, but we want it to feel like home, and so we'll be working on that. Uh, we welcome your feedback. For those of you who are participating outdoors, um, for those of you who are watching via a live stream, or for those who are watching a recording on demand later, um, any input we would welcome as we kind of do this together and improve. Um, if you have thoughts or suggestions for how we can improve or just want to talk about your experience, um, feel the freedom to email Christy. You can find her email address on the website, Christy Greeson. Uh, she's our point person right now for uh, a lot of what's going on with, with Grace Outdoors. So please communicate with her. Um, and thank you. Each week I just am deeply grateful for you all. Uh, we, we, we have good attendance. We're averaging right now a little over a hundred or so uh, up and down on Grace Outdoors. We've got a solid group of people joining us live stream and a real solid group watching us during uh, some other time. So, so we're, we, we're grateful for all the, the participation that, that's taking place in the various ways that you can stay connected to us. And so thank you. Uh, we're deeply grateful for your flexing with us and your cooperation with us. A uh, couple of things I want to ask you to pray for uh, this week. Um, in the same way that we are having to make a lot of adjustments as a church, um, the landscape for how Engage Fayette uh, does ministry in our community is changing dramatically. Uh, so much of the way we have kind of moved into our community over these years um, has been to bring presence um, in, in working in proximity with our partners, be it at Cleveland Elementary School or with our differently abled community, uh, exceptional ops, and, and the variety of relationships that we've built over the past decade um, have largely been designed around physical presence and proximity, and that's changing dramatically. Uh, for example, uh, each fall, we uh, provide uh, food uh, for the needy families, children, 
at Cleveland Elementary. And if you remember, last year we gathered, did a worship service at Cleveland, provided meals for their entire school year. Um, we can't be on campus this year. Um, a lot of changes, and so we're taking a look at how do we still meet the need in very different creative ways. Uh, there are some special challenges we're facing with our differently abled community. Obviously, they are a higher risk community. And so how do we continue ministry uh, with Capernaum Club and Club 2.0 and, and, and still serve this differently abled community? Just lots of challenges. And, and so the landscape is changing dramatically. And Kim and Carrie and her team are, are working hard. They're spending time with all of our partners right now talking about what does ministry look like under this kind of COVID reality and and there's still a lot that we're discovering so be praying for us um, we are using even though we are not using our auditorium for worship purposes uh, we are using the space for some limited and protected opportunities for our community uh, for example there's some access coming into the restrooms and all for the mobile food pantry um, and we're taking a look at ways that we can use that space in, in, again, limited, protected ways because we're able to disinfect and clean and, and all that we can do. So we're, we are still looking to, to use the facility in our community and we're looking at creative ways. One of the things that I'm, I'm very excited about, uh, Kim has established and built a, a working relationship with the Red Cross and beginning in September, uh, Grace Church will be a one of the location sites and will be hosting blood drives. There's a, a, a significant need for blood right now. And, and so uh, we will be hosting blood drives. And uh, you'll get more information about that in August. Uh, we're going to be hosting our first blood drive in September, um, learning from that, and then, of course, hoping to host some future blood drives. And so we're beginning to just take a look at the new opportunities and the new ways that we're going to have to think as we minister to our community. So be praying for that. Uh, be praying for us that God would just create new doors of, of opportunity as so many other doors have closed right now. Um, and also continue praying for the Grace family. Uh, we're always praying for God's protection. Uh, of our for of our health and the families in, in our in our church family that God would protect our health. Uh, but I would also ask you to be praying uh, for God just to keep us together as a family during this time. It is a big challenge uh, holding on to our sense of community right now when we can't physically be together uh, in the full expression of it. And we'll be talking a lot more about that in the weeks to come. It's something that. Uh, the staff we're talking a lot about and we have some ideas some thoughts and even some plans that we're going to begin introducing to you um, in in September August and September uh, with regard to how we can do community and discipleship in this current environment um, and how we can continue to expand that but pray pray for God to deepen our sense of unity our oneness um, and that he would awaken in us uh, just growing vision. Uh, things are changing, and we all know that. And, and yet, this is the reality that God has called us to live into, and we want to uh, follow him well there. It's going to require more creativity, uh, new ways of thinking, different ways of operating. But you know, at the, at the, bottom, it, it, at the bottom line, it, it all comes back to a couple of basic things. How do we just continue loving God deeply and loving our, our neighbors well and, and, and want us as a church family to be awakened to vision? Let's, let's, not, let's not see this sheltering season and the COVID time as, as a time of just kind of backing up in fear and anxiety, but a time for us to look for thoughtful, prudent, creative ways that um, is wise with the pandemic and the realities of it, but also courageous and compassionate in the ways that we are looking to uh, represent Jesus and to love people around us. So let's let's hold that in prayer, both for how we are living as a church family, how we're, we're functioning in the community, and, and as we're beginning to envision creative ways uh, for how we do discipleship, creative ways for uh, how we continue to uh, 
love our community and reach into our community for the cause in the name of Christ. So friends, I'm grateful for you. Uh, thank you for just thank you for who you are and and your love for Christ, your love for one another and uh, trusting God to continue doing good things through us. So blessings. I hope you have a good few days. We look forward to worshiping together on Sunday as we continue our, our journey in the book of Philippians called We Press On, uh, living with joy, peacefulness, and confidence. Love you.